Hi everyone on YouTube, RV Debs here with you. It is Friday, getting ready for the weekend as usual, and the weeks go by so fast. In this video, first of all, I want to welcome anyone that's just subscribed to my channel recently. Thank you for subscribing, and um, yeah, so I'm just doing today, really the video is kind of weird because I looked back at all my videos I took for the last couple days, and it was all revolving around two things. The two things that I've been doing more than anything else, and that is eating and painting. So this video is going to probably be more of a what did RV Debs eat for a few days. Um, and I'm going to show you some stuff that I've been eating and how I'm cooking. And it's all healthy food, though, I must say. Although there is a box of vanilla wafers that are sitting on my counter from today that you'll probably see. And that's going to be going out to either the chickens or to, to the garbage. Um, I found it in my cupboard. I haven't eaten them. They're kind of stale. I had a couple. But no, they were, they were old. Uh, so that's not... I don't have cookies in the house right now at all. Promise. I have had a dark chocolate candy bar. That's true. I won't lie. But this video is going to show you what I've been eating for the last couple days in between painting. I have been painting and eating and watching videos and TV and walking the dogs outside. I haven't even really gone anywhere for a few days. So, I hope you enjoy the video. It is kind of different for me. But I wanted to share just really what I do and how I live and and just what's on my mind, as usual. I hope you're all having a great week and a good weekend ahead. Let's keep chatting. Hi, YouTubers. I wanted to share what I was having for dinner. These are edamame, which I love. You just take them and you... Mm. <laughs> Excuse me. You just pop out, there's two little beans inside, kimchi, jasmine rice steamed, and that's dinner. There's Lily. I, I finished this painting. I changed the mouth. I think the mouth looks better closed. So that's going to be a big change for my little doggy. but I kept thinking about the mouth being open. I tried to have a concept, but much better closed. Anyway, bon appetit to me. I'm going to have dinner now. Talk to you soon. Love you guys. Have my little dinner with you for a few minutes and show you how I'm eating because it's um, something that I've come up with many years ago in, uh, gosh, in San Francisco, like in, I think it was 97. Um, I met some ladies, Korean ladies, and they ate exactly like what I'm eating. So, I'll show you. Um, I couldn't get the full pieces of this, but they come in little, they come in big squares, but these are little pieces. Seaweed. I take some seaweed and I put a little bit of, of jasmine rice on top and a nice chunk of kimchi on top of that. And it's like a little finger food. Mmm. Delicious and healthy. Mm mm mm. And edamame. And it's so delicious. And it's so healthy. Mmm. If you've never tried kimchi, I say try it. Um, it's kind of a, this is spicy. I think you can get mild, but it's um, got a nice peppery, vinegary flavor. It's cabbage. Mmm. When I first tried it, I didn't think I liked it. But I like it now. And this is the kind of dinners I'm eating lately. 
very healthy and yummy. I'm doing good. I just, um, it's been quiet. I've been painting a lot. I've been trying to just keep, keep motivated. Um, and I have done very well painting. I, I sold my rooster painting, which is right there. It's going to go live in Minnesota. It's for Teresa. And like I showed you before the dog, I, I, I kind of like the doggy and I was trying to do like a little open mouth picture, but it wound up, I closed his little mouth. She does look like Rosie, <laughs> but it's Rosie's cousin. It's not Rosie. Well, thanks for watching my video. I hope you're in, having a good day and enjoyed the video. Of course, as usual, I ask for a thumbs up if you did enjoy this video and share it. Subscribe if you haven't. And uh, we got lots of plans for the future. And I'm taking you along. Oh, there he is. I didn't make my bed, but I just basically, it's morning. And I'm going to slowly turn the camera. I just made some breakfast. The doggies have been out and I've had some coffee, but I thought I'm getting ready to eat. So the Rosie's there. Lily's there. And this is my breakfast. I made scrambled eggs. It's got onions and mushrooms and some raspberries. And I'm not going to have bread because I'm going to go to Bud's for dinner and I'm sure there'll be carbs but it's nice and hot and it's got cheese on it mmm turn the camera around and give you a talk while I have my breakfast and I like I said it's scrambled eggs today with some raspberries and one of the reasons I haven't been talking about what I'm eating and stuff is because it's kinda like one day you say something and the next day you might change your mind and then People think, oh, you know, she, she's out there. It's best that I keep it private, I guess. Mm. But I will tell you, <clears throat> excuse me, um, I am eating healthier. And that's really number one. I'm not eating junk food. I, I cook my meals. This week I had um, two whole artichokes, the big ones, and made a dipping sauce, and it was so good. Um, I eat a lot of avocados. I eat the sandwich thins or really good whole grain, uh, usually several seeded type of breads. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm just, you know, I do a lot of smoked salmon with cream cheese on, on a, a bagel. Not a bagel. I wish I bagel, but no. Just the uh, sandwich thins. So I'm doing the best I can. It's not perfect. I can tell you that. Someone asked me, why don't you have a snack late at night with everybody? Just bring a snack and do a live stream. That's a good idea. We could, I could try to do one of those warnings where you know I'm going to do it, and it's going to be a, um, you know, snack evening, whatever your snack is, whether it's nuts or a fruit or some, a sandwich or whatever your thing is, doesn't matter. That'd be fun. Lily, what are you doing? Being funny? Yeah, so... I think I showed this already, but I'm sort of proud of it. Now I'm not sure I want to sell it. Now that I've closed the mouth on this dog pick painting, it looks like Rosie. <laughs> Thought, well, maybe I'll make one Rosie and then try to do a Lily and then keep, you know, keep the originals and put it on like um, a t-shirt. I think it would be, that would be an idea.
Um, so today I am in the process of mailing off a couple paintings that I have that I sold. And today I sold a necklace. Thank you. I really appreciate you guys so much. I am, um, because, you know, well, you all know, I mean, between having to take the dogs to the vet, which is expensive, and just living life and maybe doing an adventure, which I am doing. I'm going to keep getting ready for it. Um, Social Security just goes so far. And, you know, I'm not asking anybody for anything. This is this is the thing. I'm happy just to content the way I am. Um, I do want to do things, and that costs money, so that I can continue making videos and share what I'm doing with you guys. And then, um, you know, who knows what I'm going to do next, because I am definitely going to do some traveling. And this is my home base, and I love this little town. But I, I need to go. I need to go places. So any support that I get from my channel is so great. Um, I've, I've got... I've got my trip planned and everything, and then I'm going to take my truck in and get it checked out. I don't know what that's going to cost, but whatever. Because it is important. That's what I'm eating. Mmm. If this bothers you, I'm sorry. I kind of enjoy, they call them mukbangs. Um, I enjoy certain people watching certain people eat. Sometimes I'm not in the mood to watch, but sometimes it's kind of fun to watch. As long as they're not too disgusting. <laughs> that, that doesn't, that's not good. Okay, let me try a... Uh, a raspberry. Mmm. <laughs> Yummy. I bought them. And sometimes I buy stuff. And it goes bad. Because I don't eat it. Like I had two bananas and I didn't eat them. They're going to go to the chickens. So today I'm going to wrap up some, um, the gray, African gray, and, um, the rooster, and they're going to go fly away, and, um, I think it's get it's kind of a nice week because it's only going to be in the 80s. I might sit in the garage and make a couple of, uh necklaces or bracelets because I've got a, a lot of new turtle turtle bead stones stone beads mm. but I'm going to continue making things and putting them on Etsy um because that's how I make my extra money that's my that's my little fund you know um when I was young and um, I didn't have children and I traveled a lot, um, I sang and played guitar all over the country. Um, just nothing fancy. I mean, like, I did happy hours. I did Saturday nights. I did week, f Monday through Friday. A lot of cocktail hours, five to eight. And some evenings and parties. I did it for years. But I didn't um, put away money. I did not put away money. Uh, if I could tell anybody, you know, what to do that are young, I would say, pay yourself. Pay yourself. Every time you get some money in your hand, put some away for your older self. Because you're going to want it. You're going to need it and you're going to want it. And, and life is not that easy and money is not worth the same as it used to be. And that's what I'd say. I didn't do it. I wished I did. I, um, you know, for years, like I said, I, I did that in all of my, my teens, 20s, 30s. And then when I hit like my 40s, 
that's when Kathy and I got together and started making jewelry and things like that. So I, we never, we should have always taken, you know, a $50 bill each and put it away for the, the old aged fund. We never did. It's kind of stupid now. But, um, you know, it's, it's the facts. It's the way it is. We're both, we're both doing the same thing, living on our social security and trying to make a little money on the side. And, um, as a matter of fact, I'm going to interview Kathy and Mark probably in the next, within the next week. And uh, just to interview them and introduce some of the people that don't know who uh, Kat is and Mark is, um, just introduce them and show them what they've been working on. They've been doing some beautiful art, um, wall hangings, basically. And they're just really made with love. And I'll, we'll get into that with them when I interview them. And then they've got an Etsy shop, too. So I'm trying to help them as much as I can. So, that's what's going on today. It's quiet here. I really am looking forward to my um, my little getaway. Um, it'll be five nights, I believe, on the road with you guys, I hope. And um, Cat and Mark will be taking care of Rosie and Lily. That's not a problem. And that's about it for now. Yeah. Just, uh, you know enjoy the best you, you know you can you can kind of like before i hang you know before i end this you can take um a lash and beat yourself up for all the things you didn't do that you thought you should do when you were younger but that's not going to help you i think the best thing you can do is to enjoy every day as much as possible when you get up in the morning to be grateful that you got up in the morning or that you made yourself a, a nice cup of coffee and you sat and enjoyed it because you can and and we're so fortunate to have plenty of food and to have little animals that furry babies that love us and to just look outside and 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 smell the roses really you know like have a, have a decent feeling in your heart about the day, every day, and be grateful. And I am. And um, I also believe that if you want to have some fun and action in your life, you have to create it yourself. Some of us are tired and we're like, I don't, I don't ever really want to leave. I could stay here for, and I don't need partying or anything. And that's, that's understandable. I don't need parties either, but I think what I do need is mental stimulation and um, just that sense of not knowing what's going to happen. But if I get in my, my vehicle and I, I take a chance to go camping or to go to a couple of Airbnbs and see an area, it's exciting. You never know what's going to happen, you know? But I'm very cautious and I have my wisdom now, you know, so I kind of go by my inner feelings and I, I feel quite safe. And uh, that's what's going on. By the way, I did get, I think I've already said this too, I'm not sure what's going to be on this video, but I did get some um, really good roadside assistance insurance from GEICO, which is my, um, my insurance. Anyway. I'm excited about my trip. I'm doing I'm doing uh, everything I need to do to get it together. Trying to stay healthy. That's the hard thing. Uh, I get hungry at night, which is not good. But I have a lot of painting to do. And I'm just going to keep busy and keep listing things on Etsy. And I just hope, you know, some of you go to the shop and, and find stuff. And I'm so grateful that you have. Thank you. Talk to you really soon because I love you guys. Peace out.